What does a $200 phone get you? We're gonna find out today. Hey guys, welcome back to How and Says channel. Today we're looking at a phone from a company that I've never heard before. And this is the first budget phone I've bought for a very long time. I haven't done a phone review for maybe a, a year, a couple years. Uh, but I saw this one on uh, Amazon and they had it on a pretty good price, under $200. I think currently it's going about $180. Um, I saw the specs, I saw that the LTE bands are matching T-Mobile. So I wanted to grab this one and have it as a spare phone and see actually what kind of features we're getting on phones like that. Uh, sub 200 nowadays and if it's worth buying so obviously as always we're gonna go through the unboxing see exactly what's inside the box so what new have provided for us in the box and then we're gonna look at the software we're gonna look at the phone and some of the features obviously I'm gonna run some tests and see how the battery performs uh, maybe I'll snap some pictures uh, although budget phones like that don't expect any miracles from the camera it's there it's serviceable you can probably use it for some uh, good lighting photos during the day but outside of that, don't keep your hopes up. For me, the biggest uh, intriguing point, uh, the big screen, the higher refresh rate and possibly consuming media for a long time since we have 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside. But without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. And then at the end, we're going to talk about it in the conclusion. Before we open the box of the new B15, we're going to look outside and see what they have done with this retail package. Very nice, you can see the product right on top and on the side you see some of the features. Multi-lens photography, 6.78 full HD plus 90 Hertz refresh rate uh, screen. Excellent to see in a budget phone. We have four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, expandable with micro SD card, fast charge. We'll see how fast that charge is. Uh, I'm a little skeptical here. Uh, ultra capacity, we have 5,000 milliamp our battery which is excellent again to see and right here on the back we can see the corresponding LTE bands this is a 4G LTE phone only like I mentioned no 5G and at the bottom of the case you see branded MediaTek so what we have inside is a MediaTek processor so uh, let's see how we open this now oh, interesting so the image of the phone is actually sliding out and we have a regular rectangular uh, box right underneath Again, very nice presentation. I am uh, pleased with what I'm seeing, considering that this uh, phone is very budget friendly. The first thing is right on top, get a free protective case if you go to their website and register. And actually I did, I got a TPU protective case. Uh, just went in, registered my phone, chatted with the support uh, for a couple of moments. And they sent me this one two days later, it was at my house, so just a, uh, a regular TPU clear kind of style uh, case, but hey, it's good to have it to keep your phone protected. A raised lip right here around the camera. So having it uh, from the factory uh, definitely will uh, match the phone. And I'm glad that they're offering this one for free. We have uh, some new stickers, not a bad addition. I'm glad that they're promoting uh, the company. And we have some quick start guide. Again, printing in English, very nice. So. What we have is uh, options for dual SIM and expandable micro SD card slot. So both of uh, the two SIMs and micro SD can be inside. Excellent to see again, a lot of much more expensive phones don't offer that feature. Uh, right on top is the phone, but uh, let me see if I can take it away. And we're gonna look at what else is inside the box. So if we lift this up uh, right here, we have the USB to USB-C cable. It is white. Not a bad cable, a bit stiff, but hey, who cares? It's good to get you going. And we have the wall charger. Uh, this one is rated at uh, 6 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, and 12 volts, 1.5 amps. So we'll see how fast this one can charge. Uh, I will try a couple other chargers as well, but we will test this uh, new one, kind of a, a tiny one. And that's pretty much it, nothing else. We have a SIM tray ejection tool right here, or a SIM needle. Uh, silica gel pack and that's it nothing else is inside the box so on to the phone right on top you'll see some of the specs outlined as well and interesting enough this is quite big considering uh, this is my uh, regular Mi 11 Lite you see how much bigger this phone is uh, but let me slide it out of this protective case and what I see and what I really like is pre-applied a screen protector, not perfectly pre-applied, but at least it's there. Uh, and you're not gonna go around and start looking for one uh, right off the bat. Left side, we have the SIM and micro SD card uh, slot right here, if nothing else. On top, we have a microphone. On the right side, we have a volume rocker. 
uh, the power button slash fingerprint reader. And at the bottom, this is where the magic happens. We have the speaker, USB-C port, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Excellent, excellent addition. And I'm saying addition because most of the much more expensive phones are omitting this uh, amazing feature. And on the back, we have some branding and the back is kind of like this style, glass style, uh, shiny uh, area, but I don't think this is glass. I think it's plastic, just mimics glass. And we have this four camera array with the LED uh, flashlight right in the middle. Uh, so let me pull that TPU and see if it fits perfectly. So we'll put it right in the TPU case. Uh, you see perfect match and camera is protected as well uh, from that uh, camera uh, bump right here, the lip. And on top, perfect cutouts for the microphone, perfect cutouts for the speaker, charging port, the other microphone and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And it's lightly raised on top so your screen when you put the phone down, it's not gonna rest uh, completely on the surface. Let me go ahead and set it up for a moment. I'm not gonna waste your time because it's all the regular Android setup. And then we're gonna check out the software after that. All right, now with the phone all installed, you'll see vanilla Android 11, just like we were expecting. We have an app drawer, we have uh, four apps, and immediately I went to the settings. Uh, I went to the system and I wanted to see if there is a system update available and luckily two updates came almost immediately and i was very surprised because normally these kind of budget devices don't get so much love on updates and i hope they're going to continue to bring updates in the future you see the last security updates is from february this year so a couple months old uh, that's not bad at all i'm not sure if this phone is going to get ever android 12 but currently android 11 so this is very good as well and after installing two updates uh, this is uh, what we get uh, no more updates available but you'll see the the software is absolutely straight vanilla android 11 not a lot of glitches 90 hertz uh, refresh rate i really like it it's kind of a good middle ground between 60 and 120 120 drains uh, the battery a lot faster but 90 combines the uh, smoothness and at the same time preserves the battery a little bit storage after i installed all my apps and everything we have about uh, 90 gigabytes available and without my apps and all that stuff you get about 13 gigabytes taken out of the 128 for your system. But everything else is uh, a pretty vanilla. There's a couple additions right here, Intelligent Assistant, you'll see Smart Answer, uh, Anti-Fake Touch Mode, a Three Finger Screenshot, Three Finger a Split Screen, Lift to Wake, Flash Blink and Incoming Calls, a Double Click to Wake, Double Click to Lock, a Toggle Flashlight, a Quick Gestures. So all these are kind of like a specialty of uh, MediaTek, I've seen them with a lot of other phones uh, by MediaTek uh, processors. In the system uh, information, you can see this is the resolution 2460 by 1080. We have four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, and I'm not sure if the four gigabytes will be enough uh, RAM for today's day and age, but we'll see uh, with all the apps I have installed and everything else, how it's gonna perform. So far, I haven't seen any really slowdowns or any uh, kind of uh, lags uh, but ag again uh, once you start using it too much uh, that's gonna kind of surface and show you what the situation is uh, but as of now I think uh, it, it runs pretty smooth and uh, after I test it a little bit longer we'll see what the battery life is and after spending a couple days with the phone I can say the battery life is excellent we are getting about two days with my moderate uh, usage uh, and stand up is uh, about seven days. If you just leave it on stand up, don't use too much. The battery is getting drained about uh, five to 10% uh, for 24 hours. Uh, so I was kind of expecting that. I've seen similar configurations with the same processor and uh, with the 5,000 milliamp battery. Uh, so I was uh, kind of prepared uh, what I'm going to expect here. Now, when it comes to the camera, I don't expect any miracles. I'm gonna test that thoroughly and see what we can get, what kind of pictures outside but just wanted to point out a few things that are kind of important. We have electronic image stabilization, which is enabled by default, but if it's not, just go to the settings and check it out uh, just in case to make sure, which makes a big difference if you are trying to take uh, photos or videos uh, outside. And if I switch to video, you will see that the settings here are 1080p. Of course, electronic image stabilization is available as well, but the video is between 720p and 1080p, so just keep that in mind. We're not gonna get 4K or anything like that here. 
Uh, and another thing I wanted to mention, if I go to the DRM info, you will see one thing that we are really missing, and I was kind of expecting this, is white vine level one. Unfortunately, we are having a security level three instead of one, so don't expect Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, all these streaming services, they're gonna be streaming only on standard definition and not on full HD. But again, budget device, so kind of expected. Uh, I would have been blown away if they included uh, level one for, with this one. So I'm really not disappointed because I was expecting that. Here's the information here. We have Helio G80 processor, which has been out there for a while. MediaTek has been using it uh, in many, many other devices. I'm pretty pleased. I gotta say for the money, this device is not bad. It can be a good spare phone or a first phone for your child or somebody that needs a really big screen because this is a giant screen and you can definitely see a lot more information than on my regular uh, Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite. You'll see how much smaller this one is compared to this one. Of course, the screen is IPS. You're not gonna find OLED here for this kind of price, but it's pretty bright, I have to say. Uh, and if I boost the brightness, you'll see uh, even on the camera, it's probably gonna blind you. So it's definitely pretty bright, uh, especially considering the price. Uh, that they're asking for it. And yeah, the, uh, the fingerprint sensor works 10 out of 10 times. So this is one of the things I like, these uh, fingerprint sensors that are on the side. I have it on my Xiaomi as well. Uh, they're very accurate. It doesn't uh, waste too much time. Yeah, of course, it's a little bit slower than uh, regular or high-end or mid-range phones. This is a budget device, so it takes maybe a uh, half a second to open it. So I really like that one. Of course, uh, one of the biggest wins here is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And this one works uh, with no problem. I have uh, no uh, noises, no problems, no hissing noise or anything like that. Tested with a few other different headphones. And for me, it works perfectly well. So yeah, what can I say? Uh, I really like this uh, device by new, uh, B15. I have to say for the price, they're offering a lot. And uh, if you're looking for a cheaper phone, for any of your child so they can uh, start going and using some smart devices or something for you to tie you over until you're waiting for the newest and latest more expensive uh, model. Uh, this one is definitely an option. You can grab on and uh, start using. Yeah, negatives are there, no white vine level one, no 5G, but I'm willing to live without these features, especially for the price. So let's go ahead and talk about it in the conclusion. All right, conclusion time. And what do I think about the new B15? Well, I have to say, doing some research on the company, this is the highest uh, model they're offering actually in the American market, on the US market. And unfortunately, it's still a model that doesn't support 5G. It only has uh, 4G LTE. Uh, so you gotta consider that if you are really going for the highest speeds out there, you're not gonna achieve them. You're only gonna have uh, the before generation 4G LTE. The other thing is not all cell phone companies are supported and covered. Uh, it works with T-Mobile, no problem. I have coverage uh, almost everywhere where I live in the greater Atlanta area in Georgia. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. If, if you're living in more rural uh, part of the country, maybe it's not the best option for you. Just make sure you have uh, very good coverage from uh, T-Mobile, you're not gonna have any problems. Unfortunately, I don't have an AT&T SIM card, but looking at the LTE bands, um, some of them are missing on this phone, so probably the best is to go with uh, T-Mobile. Uh, now, the biggest plus, for me is the higher capacity battery, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, very big display, 6.78 inches, uh, tall 2460 by 1080, 90 hertz as well, which is a huge plus. Uh, I Ideally, I would like to see all new phones coming with at least 90 hertz displays and above because it makes the user experience so much better. Another pleasant surprise for me was actually receiving two updates almost immediately, something I was not expecting and I've seen much more known company not providing updates for a very, very long time. We're new, uh, provided some, and of course, security patches. So hopefully we're gonna get some uh, more in the future as well. Expandability is excellent. You can uh, fit not only one, but two SIM cards, and you can put micro SD card inside to expand your internal storage. Speaking of internal storage, 128 gigabytes internal storage. I think it's plenty. It's kind of the norm these days, so you can fill it up with music, media, photos, whatever you wanna uh, use. Uh, the biggest negative on the specs for me personally is the RAM, four gigabytes of RAM. I don't think it's enough nowadays, especially with Android 11 on board and maybe Android 12 uh, in the future. I think a lot of phones are struggling even with six gigabytes of RAM. I see that as an example from my Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite that has six gigabytes of RAM and often times the software hangs over there until it closes some apps. So 
uh, more RAM, better. I guess uh, nowadays six should be the norm and anything above, it's uh, a lot beneficial. But uh, at the end of the day, for a budget device, I think it's still okay. Um, again, another big negative is a wide vine level three instead of one. So no Netflix uh, on Full HD, the rest of the streaming services, they're gonna be also on st standard definition. Uh, so you're losing a lot of that functionality despite the big and beautiful uh, display that you can consume that media unfortunately you're not going to get the best out of it but at the end of the day i think for 180 dollars for a spare phone for something to keep you tight until you get something better or you're collecting your money for something really nice coming up or maybe travel phone you're going overseas you're traveling somewhere you don't want to bring your nice phone and potentially jeopardize uh, losing it breaking it or uh, somebody stealing it pick up this one carry it and uh, off you go you can with the two sim cards you can even plug in local sim whatever you're going if you're staying for a long period of time use it that way and uh, and you're going to be plenty happy because you're going to have both sims and you can expand the storage if you want to store more files uh, so would i recommend it yeah absolutely for 180 dollars why not now build quality of course is all plastic but it's budget phone so don't expect any miracles no metal no glass none of that pre-applied screen protector from the factory huge plus so yeah that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the link in the description below if you want to support the channel directly and as always guys you have a wonderful day